So in Elden Ring, Colossal Swords have been becoming more and more obsolete, almost to the point where I feel like you don't see a lot of people using them anymore, which is kind of sad because they are one of my favorite weapon classes, not only to use, but fight against. But there is one actual ward that you can slap on a Colossal Sword and just have an absolute blast with, and that Ash of War is Waves of Darkness. You may have seen videos of people using it on the Zweihander. However, I'm going with the Watchdog's Greatsword today. One, I just like the look of the weapon. And two, I did look it up and it seems that this gets more AR than the Zweihander. For my armor, I have no helmet. And then the rest is the Bloodhound Knight's armor. And if you want to see my stats and my talismans, I'll put both on screen. And I wasn't really sure what to use for the talismans on this build because it's just very, very basic. But whatever, let's get into the fights. Now, initially, I was a little bit stressed about the amount of poise that I have on this build. However, Waves of Darkness has insane hyper armor, so that's kind of comforting. Okay, we got the initial strike. They managed to roll through the rest. Good fight, Cole. I feel like when some people fight Colossal Swords, they don't realize that they can just play patient and really just punish any attack I try to do. I mean, if you have solid spacing, it's it's not that hard to punish a Colossal Sword, and most weapons are faster than a Colossal Sword. And I think that's pretty much the main reason as to why you don't see people using them anymore, is just, you know, you have great hammers, you have great axes, great swords, they're all faster and you can just get crazy damage out of those anyway, so there's not a huge point in using Colossal Swords unless you just like the weapon class. But we got the Average Joe. All right, I wanna to try to hit a big weapon art here. I'm not sure how many duels I'm really gonna run considering, I mean, this weapon art in Invasions is a wild. It is insane. <laughs> People never expect the third one, man, I swear. Oh, oh my god, he, he actually almost ran into it again. Wait, what? How did that poke not hit them? That was... Okay, okay. I feel like that should have taken them out of the air for sure. Good fight. Who this? Heck no. <laughs> oh man. You're scary. I don't like you. Okay, we got the initial hit. That's good. Stormcaller on the Lance. Hey, major Chad move. Respect. You absolute demon. I like I I've I've never seen that. Legit. I've never seen somebody put Stormcaller on a Lance. That looks so goofy. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's that's bad. That looks really bad. Oh my god, I cannot believe that actually hit. This Ash of War is so sick. Good fight. Oh. I love how whenever I jump, I can basically whiff the attack but still hit it. You're no match for my Colossal Sword. Okay, let's make a deal. I go into these invasions and show some true Colossal Sword prowess just for you guys. And in return, you click the subscribe. Is this dude getting worked by a skeleton? There's no way. Hello. Yeah, you should watch out, I think. You should really watch out.
Oh no, Floppy. No. No. Yep. Hey, GG's. Okay, I cannot let this guy get lifesteal with the Blasphemous Blade. Oh, nice Bloodhound step. Oh my god, that is a lot of damage. Wow. Just did 2,000 damage there. I'm so disappointed that did not kill, though. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there we go. Finally, the Bloodhound Step user is gone. Now it's just me and you, Kaze. Come on, bud. Oh, okay. Okay, Dragon Maw. That's, that's kind of respect, though. I can't lie. Not gonna lie to you. But, that, I mean, okay. Rot Breath. Eh. Eh. I respect it a little less, but, uh, GG's. Struggler is the name. Let me find him. I want to show him this darkness, the waves of darkness. Oh my God, the lag on this man right here. Okay, okay, <laughs> Lemon Man, what is going on, dude? All right. Um, your friend disintegrated, gone forever. <laughs> You're never gonna see him in the lands between again. Oh, Redmain Castle. Somebody got sent back to their world, too. Archer. Looks like you got here too late, buddy. <laughs> oh my god, and a hunter just spawned too? Dude, thank god I killed that host when I did. That was about to get real, real cancer. Hello? What's up? Hi. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey friends. No way. This is two invasions in a row where the host just took a dive. What? What is happening? I'm under the water. Help me. Hey. Hello. Hey. What's good, boys? How y'all doing? Oh my. Who just. Hey, yo. Who just did that? Was that an NPC that just murked my man? Sniped him out of the air? Okay. Well, there's that. Damn, both of you guys have great shields and you are fat rolling. Hey, man, that's respect. Lord Fat Roll, it is time to meet your end, my friend. You can't spell friend without end. Oh, oh.
Okay, there we go. <laughs> I forgot how easy it is to just abuse people who fat roll. GG's though. So my rating for this build, I want to say is going to be like a 7.1 out of 10. The biggest drawback of this build for me is the slowness, especially after patch 1.09, Colossal Swords are sort of in a bad spot. Like you could put this on a great hammer and probably have a lot easier of a time. However, if you pick and choose your moments wisely, you can land a lot of hits with the Colossal Sword. Just go for punishes, go for roll catch chains and stuff like that, which depending on what your opponent is using can be very, very hard to pull off. And Waves of Darkness, crazy damage, it's multi-hit, you get crazy hyper armor, everything about it is pretty crazy. It's good in duels, it's good in invasions. Seriously, I had such a blast using this Ash of War. I think you could tack this on a multitude of weapons and just have fun. If you have any thoughts on what you saw here today that you'd like to make known, feel free to comment them down below. If you enjoyed the video, press the like, and as always, you can become a fellow Monker today by pressing that subscribe button and that noti bell. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.